Hello, my beautiful, wonderful people. I just made a video called My My Cano Love. And what it was is this cane that was is basically just a limb or a stick or something that was weird and found in the New Mexico desert that was given to me by my platoon sergeant, Staff Sergeant Perilla. And uh Hispanic gentleman and I wanted to do a video just on him <clears throat> I don't know if he's still alive or not but uh, he was he was different you know you you definitely you know wanted to keep this man happy I hardly ever seen him mad but we always seen him stressed and every time he stressed he'd be like I don't know Oh, this ain't good. But our platoon, the workhorse platoon there at the 2nd of the 2nd, 31st Battalion Air Defense, we uh, we liked him. We didn't know he was going to like him because we just lost a great uh, Staff Sergeant. He went to go be a recruiter or something. And then Staff Sergeant Perilla showed up. And I'm telling you what, man. I am so honored that I was able to be his driver. And we lost our minds separately and together. Uh, whether it was at Fort Hood or when we was in the New Mexico desert. And they came came to a, a, a front there in the New Mexico desert. Now he had just come on and I'm his driver and I'm already pissed. Because I was a 16 slash 14 Sierra which meant I handled Stinger missiles and I, w I was up in the turret on the back of a Humvee locked and loaded you know but some unfortunate events happened and uh, yeah I got in trouble it wasn't my fault but I got in trouble because somebody decided to drop a shitload of names Mine just happened to be one of them. And I ended up becoming his driver. Looking back on it. I am so much more grateful for that. I couldn't have been at that time. I was so angry at the army. But Staff Sergeant Perilla was the, one of the coolest sergeants ever. There's very few people that I would want in my foxhole. Now in the army, they, they slung that around, I guess, kind of like the word love and friend, but if you say you want somebody in your foxhole, that means everything. Because you're dependent on that person to keep you alive as you are being dependent on to keep them alive. And that's what you want. He was one of them. My God. I, I could just only imagine if we was in real combat how he would act. But I know one thing, the guy knew his stuff. Beautiful human being, my Hispanic brother. I love that man. And it was so cool. We were about to uh, disassemble our companies and battalion. And they were either going to move to either Fort Bliss in Texas or uh, Fort Carson up there in Colorado. And uh, I get, I don't know what, I can't remember what direction he was going in, but I chose to stay in Texas. And I, me and the, my, my, my black brother, I can't remember your name, I'm sorry right now. Uh, good man, good Good, solid soldier, man. Badass little motherfucker. Uh, he's about my height. I call him little because he was a little bit skinnier than me, but phew, wouldn't fuck with him. But he was he was kick ass, you know. And we we uh, devised what we would do when he called us to attention for the very last time. So we spread it amongst the rest of the platoon. Now I want you to think about twenty five guys. 
getting called to attention by Staff Sergeant Perilla. <laughs> Platoon, attention! Who, Sergeant? We all did the, the stress thing, and all. Oh, he had tears in his eyes. He laughed his ass off. He had happy tears mixed with the regular tears. And then we went up and we did something you don't see very much in the, in the military. And we hugged that man and we thanked him. Sergeants are the backbone of the military. Don't let anybody ever tell you that the officers are because they're not. And there are really great officers out there and I appreciate them. Didn't meet too many. But I know that they're out there. And I did at least meet one really great one. But the sergeants are the backbone. And sergeants should act accordingly. Staff Sergeant Stress, as we called you. <laughs> when you wasn't listening, or maybe you were. Staff Sergeant Perilla, whether you're here on earth or in the heaven, just know you have nothing but the greatest respect and love from this uh, soldier who's so grateful to have served with you.